How would you describe your musical development from Welcome to Earth to Harmonizer? Um, first of all, I think that um, since the time period, we haven't, say, say from Soli Deo Gloria to Seven, there was a long time in between. Yeah. And uh, from seven to Welcome to Earth, also a long time. Yeah. This time, everything has been produced a little faster. Yeah. Therefore, um, it's easy to see a lot of similarities between the two albums, yeah. Welcome to Earth and and Harmonizer. Um, I still think that um, there is uh, a lot of um, differences and changes for the better, I would say. Yeah. Um, um, like Harmonizer, it's it's much more um, electronic and powerful in a way. Yeah. I will say um, the production is way better, yeah. and um, uh, I also think that w especially the production and the vocals, I think, is a lot better. Yeah. So that I would say that that that's the main differences, the the Im improvement I will say. Okay. Mm. So what was your main inspiration for the album? Um. Well, um, it's uh, Harmonizer is a very uh, personal album. Um, the whole harmonizer thing, uh, the concept or whatever. I started out making harmonizer without. I didn't want a concept. Yeah. I wanted it to be just an album, without no like uh, political thing or without no specific concept. Yes. Um, but again, it it turned out. Um, being uh, same to it's a it, it's a positive album. Yes. It's about being positive, even when times are are not yeah. that good. <laughs> it's about um, harmonizing and being positive, even though uh, things are hard and. It would be natural not to be. Yeah. So um, it's about being positive, to see the good things in life and get over things. Yeah. Yes. It has been over two years or about two years since the release of your last album. Mm. What did you do in the meantime except for recording a new album? Um, touring. We we started touring immediately after Welcome to Earth came out. Yeah. And uh, we have more or less been touring ever since. Yeah. So it was um, a hard year. We toured Europe, um, like the one, like the big Welcome to Earth tour, and then we toured America for a long time, and then we got back to Europe and toured Germany. We toured Scandinavia, and then we got back again to America, toured America. <laughs> And then back again, and then we started to record Harmonizer. Okay, so it's um, yeah, I haven't had any holidays. That's <laughs> put it that way. So it, it's been um, rather hard, but it's been worth it, I think. Okay. Many artists are paying a lot of attention on their artwork. How do you handle it? Do you what, what do you say again? Um, many artists are paying a lot of a lot of attention on mm. their artwork. Mm -hmm. How do you handle it? Do you have a lot of influence on it? Yeah, um, I work uh, together with um, the designer called Hal from Norway, yeah. which is one of the, um, what shall I say, like old school uh, designers from Norway. Um, <coughs> and uh, he, he's the same guy that did all the other, every, everything I ever made, put yeah. out, he made the covers for. Okay. So um, we are totally... Um, Speaking the same language, we I, I can give him an idea about uh, what about doing this or that, and um, he, he will understand what I say, yes. and I will send him some uh, MP3s of the songs, mm -hmm. and he will start to work yeah. out from that. So everything um, when it comes to like logos or fonts or 
all the aspects of the artwork is very designed. Okay. Is um, he is the, the kind of guy that will sit down and uh, listen to the MP3s that I send for for a day and just like okay, I feel this and this and this and <laughs> st- stuff that I don't know how to do, but he he's good at it. So so I I have I will. When we're doing a cover, I will tell, okay, I want this and this and this and this. Yes. And he's and the one who can just do it for you the way yeah, you want it. Exactly. He, we understand each other. Okay. Just hang on one second. <laughs> okay. So the first reactions on Harmonizer, were, they were very different. Um, while the fans were actually drawn to the dance floors, certain critics uh, said that it might drift a bit too much into the main, main mainstream dance style. What is your opinion on that? Um, first of all, I think that uh, Welcome to Earth is much more mainstream than Harmonizer. Yeah. Um, I think um, when, when we were making Welcome to Earth, we were doing like the more commercial tracks, and um, I was really afraid that the people would think that okay, this is too mainstream. Yeah. And I promised myself. If this goes through, is this if Welcome to Earth is going to be uh, accepted by the fans and the scene? Yeah. Then I'm on the right track. Yeah. Um, and um, um, it's it's really weird because I think in some ways that Harmonizer is really commercial, but then again, the it's really really dark. And it's um, made like all the tracks are made in um, in a time of my life where I had the most heavy problems mm. and uh, where I had the worst time of my life, to put it that way. Okay. So everything has been um, kind of painful and uh, hard. Um, and then then we go back to what we what we started talking about. Um, the whole harmonizer concept yes. is about uh, when times are hard and when everything seems to go in the wrong direction. If you choose to harmonize and be positive, you'll find your way out. Okay. So, um, so therefore, I mean, um, some songs might sound um, commercial or mainstream. But you'll never find lyrics like this in mainstream music. Yeah, this is of course. Because uh, mainstream lyrics are usually, oh, baby, baby, I love you, baby, baby, blah, blah, you know? Okay. And this is really heavy mental stages that I've gone through that yeah. I've tried to put into the music. But still, I try to focus on the positive side and try to harmonize. Go yeah. against the stream and do my own thing. So I can un- totally understand people that say that, well, this is too mainstream. I can learn that. Okay. But um, I don't agree. <laughs> okay. Because, because but, it, I don't know. It, it's I, I, When it all comes down, it's not mainstream. I see. So how do you prepare for your upcoming World Harmony Tour? Are you planning anything special? Uh, yeah, we are working right now. Um, I just got to Hamburg today, yeah. so uh, we have been uh, rehearsing the whole week now in um, at my house, and um, it's going to be really good. Um, we got um, a drummer now, yeah. so there will be drums on all tracks, yeah. and um, it's going to be. Um, a more uh, musical, like musical, uh, exciting tour yes. than all the previous tours, uh, because um, so much is now going to be live. We always played a lot of stuff live, but now it's really a lot. Okay, it's uh, like before. You know, most electronic bands have, you know, the dat players or the CDs or mini disc or whatever, yeah. and they play say 90% from that and 10% is live Yes. and now it's actually being maybe say 
I won't say 50-50 because that would be lying, but mm. say maybe like 60, 40 yeah. percent what is live. So it, it will be uh, much more exciting, especially with with the, that we are bringing real drums yeah. and uh, um, so far we have been practicing and it started to sound really good. I brought in the. Are you familiar with the Norwegian black metal band called the Covenant? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, we brought in uh, Angel from the guitar yeah. player, and uh, it's fantastic. It's the best uh, guitar player I ever worked with. Great. So it's there's going to be a lot of er- expen- experimental uh, industrial guitar stuff yeah. going live, and. Uh, yeah, he's crazy. You'll see. He's a fantastic guitar player. So, yeah. So, are you actually planning to um, play in this lineup uh, on festivals this summer? Um, <clears throat> I haven't really, <laughs> to be honest. I haven't started to think about the festivals yet yeah. uh, <clears throat> because we have only been practicing for the tour. Of so, course, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure about the festivals. Okay, so let's see. I heard that you also produced a video clip for the new album. Um, how was that work for you? Did you get a chance to put a part of your creativity in it in it, in it again? Yeah, um, we um, uh, went to um, Nevada in yeah. uh, in America, where we um, uh, shot a lot of uh, video stuff in the in the desert. Yeah, uh, which was uh, very interesting because I've never been in uh, that kind of uh, weather or uh, just the whole that thing is yeah. crazy it's so hot that you almost go crazy yeah. and um, shooting video in that kind of environment uh, is makes your whole creativity uh, you get a lot of crazy ideas and stuff like that yeah. and uh, we, I, I think it's going to be really cool I haven't seen the the finished one yet. There's also being shot some some stuff from um, somewhere in Asia. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, but uh, I haven't been a part of that, so I haven't seen that yet. Okay. And mm. um, so, do you think you get the video into rotation on somewhere like MTV or Viva? I hope so. Um, you never know. Um, I'm I live in Norway, so I'm not that familiar with the German music television but I know that um, in Norway uh, we had, we have MTV in, in Scandinavia too and we have uh, some other music channels yeah. and um, the last two years they have played a lot of uh, more like indie stuff like say Manson or Rammstein yeah. or uh, stuff like that so I, I think there is a possibility that they will start to show more um non-commercial yeah. stuff so Good luck ho- ho- thank you very much ho- hopefully that will will happen in, in germany too i'm not sure but yeah. we, we hope <laughs> we'll see yeah you changed labels and you worked for a producer for the first time as i understand it um how did all this influence um your way of working was it a good experience actually uh, yeah um first of all the the whole change of label yeah. is uh, I, I I've always been on uh, Tatra records yeah. in in Norway um and I found out after a while that um like since I was very young I always wanted my own record label yeah it's like you know like a, a boy dream yeah. <laughs> you know so um, me and um, John my manager we f- we formed this uh, company called uh, Hard Drive yes and um, we were very lucky that we we got a, a license to VIA here in in Germany. Yeah. And um, it that whole label change hasn't really affected the music, I yeah. will say. Um, of course, some things have have changed. Like um, I don't know if you heard the Unicorn track yeah. on the CD, yeah. where the vocal by uh, Claudia Brücken yeah. from Propaganda. Do you know Propaganda? Yeah, yeah. It, that is a thing that is that is one of my favorite bands from the eighties. Yes, and uh, that is something that uh, Vea could do 